I'm awesome at a lot of things. One thing I'm not awesome at? Video games. Until now, this is Girlfriend Vs. Namco Plug and Play. All right, here's your controller. I like this. Now, where is the console? Not gonna lie, pretty proud of myself. Pulled off another one of my ingenious deceptions. Just attached to the TV. What? She totally fell for it. That's cause there is no console. It's all in here. Oh wow. So the Namco Plug and Play is a little kind of portable arcade. That's... Wow, that's amazing. Right? Yeah, that's cool. Obviously we can't just go on location to some arcade and play games. Uh, for Girlfriend Versus, this is the best I could do. A little home version of the arcade. My challenge for you today is I want you to get on the scoreboard for one of these games. Only one. You, she doesn't have to get a high score, the highest. She's just got to get on the scoreboard. I've just got to get on the board. So just like an old arcade, you are going to get quarters. One quarter equals one play of a game until you get a game over, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you $2.50. For each game? No. Oh! For the whole thing. So boyfriend gave me a whole bunch of quarters and I had to use these quarters to try and get on the high scoreboard. We're gonna start with pole position. Pole position is a racing game and you had a button which made it go into a high gear and a low gear. Okay, now hit the small button and switch up to high gear. There you go. And it was funny because the, the joystick, instead of going forward and backwards, you could turn it right and left so it became like a steering wheel. Okay. How's it handling? I think it's okay. Yeah? Which I thought was quite ingenious, actually. I really liked that control. Ah! No! Ugh. Oh. Okay, so you got a passing bonus. Let's see. Okay. Game over. It's a very hard game. <laughs> so this is a shooter. Oh, is it? Yep, proper shooter. Xevious. I don't really remember much about Xevious. All right, you got 450 points. And the high score is 40,000. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, oh I died. I died. right when I said it. Yeah. I, I literally don't remember anything about Xevious. And oh. there it was. <laughs> there were circles in Devious? Alright, Miss Pac-Man. You right down at the bottom. Okay. Now Miss Pac-Man, uh, classic game, arguably the most classic game in the Namco plug and play. What do you think about Miss Pac-Man? I like her bow. I got cornered a couple of times and that was sad, but I actually really enjoyed playing Mrs. Pac-Man. Oh, and that was your last that was my guy. Quarter? You almost had the board I had like one cleared. Blow yeah, up there. Almost. Shoot. Next we played Galaga. I love Galaga. You're doing good. Ooh, ah, this is hard. It is tough, huh? The thing about Galaga is it's pretty tough and the learning curve is pretty Steep. Stage two. Okay. Whoa! Now it's coming at you fast and hard. Why so hard and uh, fast? That, yeah, that, that was really difficult. Uh, oh! Mappy is the game I'm probably the most unfamiliar with. How do I get through this level, though? You collect all. Oh, oh dear! Oh, no! I didn't really understand what it was about. Um, yep, there you go if there was a cartoon or something that I'd missed. Oh, oh I thought back. it was No, you gotta go thing. up one more. You gotta go up one more. I thought more. it was a present. Oh, yeah. No, she wasn't very good. All right, so now how many quarters have I got? Five. So I went through each game once just to see how good I was at it, which of course I wasn't very good at any of them. How far off was I with the racing game? Racing game's pretty tough. I'm gonna do that one again. Okay. I decided um, that I would play, I think, pole position and extra time. You know what's a good tactic? To kind of toggle it back and forth when you're turning and it helps you turn better. Oh, does it? Yep. All right. Okay. Oh. Well, that. that well, not like that, though. <laughs> 
The worst thing about pole position is when you go off the road or you hit a sign, you blow up. Whoa! Man. But it holds you up and you need to kind of regenerate. And by that time, about five cars have sped past you. One more go at this. Okay. And I did get better at it, but I didn't, I, I didn't want to waste all of my quarters playing one game. Uh, oh, man. Uh, <sighs> all right. We played all the games. She didn't get on the scoreboard. We're down to one quarter. What game does she play? An actual quarter is going to decide your fate. Okay. So, so what is it? I think heads should be Pac-Man because Pac-Man is just basically a big head. Yep. And then tails should be Mappy because it's an animal and it has a tail. I was thinking the same thing. All right. I flip it. You want to flip it? And you call it, right? No, we just called it. Oh, no, but I mean, you say out loud <laughs> what it is. What? Wait, no. Because yeah. you just... No, you say out loud what it is. But we already said Well, it. look it's at it and say what it is. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but we made this much more difficult than it had to be. Mappy! Ooh! <laughs> It was Tails. Tails got it. Okay, let's do it. We flipped a coin. We went for Mappy. I failed. Oh! Oh, I got stuck. Ugh. That was really not... Uh... After I failed and I thought, well, another challenge I'm not going to get, boyfriend said... Okay, you know what? Change your plans. Change your plans because... Here's another thing that used to happen. When you were a kid, and you were in an arcade, and you ran out of quarters, what would you do? Your mum would give you a quarter. You would go ask your parents for more money. <laughs> so I'm going to give you, I'm going to search my pockets. Oh, I found another $2.50. You lie. So now you get ten more quarters. Ten more quarters. Ten more friggin' quarters. I'll take five. No, you'll take ten, because that's right, what I'm giving to you. All right, then. So... I picked up my joystick, I pulled my socks up, and I was ready to go. Oh, go back, go back. Oh my gosh, you're gonna beat the level! Oh, oh my God, God, do it! Yeah! yeah! You beat a level! That's cool. That's awesome. Girlfriend did all right with Mappy. She beat the first level, which is great. Oh, I do run, two more. run, two. run, run. Do do run run. Oh, oh no, you only had one more you to beat the level. I personally had a hard time coaching girlfriend and Mappy because I don't know all the strategies for Mappy. Oh no. Oh no, I got you got trapped. You gotta be careful, you gotta watch them. Yeah, that's hard. It is hard, yeah. Oh. And I did try to play it a few times, but there was another point where the challenge was get on the high scoreboard and I just I, I knew I wasn't going to. So I, I did leave that one and go back to a different one. So points is what I need. It's not even just beating a screen. It's so. all about points. Exactly. You're getting it. Yeah, I need the points. Girlfriend loved Miss Pac-Man. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Whoa! I would say girlfriend is better at Miss Pac-Man than I am. Again. Oh! Somehow that what? was like. And you glitched it! So she glitched Miss Pac Man. It was crazy. She ran right into a ghost, Inky or Blinky or Clyde, one of them, and she went right through it. It was awesome. I don't know. That Did was, you see that? Yeah, that you freaking glitched it. That was a glitch. I think I impressed boyfriend with this one. Is that two? Yes! Oh, whoa! Oh! They meet! Look at you actually got a little Pac-Man video. Oh, we got the first animatic where Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man meet. Aww. They're like us! <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple of times where I did maneuvers left and right really, really quickly with the joystick, and he was very impressed. Uh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got that. I think I did three, three whole maps that I got through. I think I got three. Oh! oh! Done, done. 
I know I scored really well, but there wasn't really a high scoreboard at the end, so it was a little bit disappointing. Oh, I didn't get on the board? You know what, though? I don't know if there is a board for this one. What? You clearly had the high score, though. The thing about Miss Pac-Man was it didn't really have like a high scoreboard. It showed the high score, and Girlfriend got the high score, so I didn't know if we should count that towards the challenge. Technically, she got the high score. So in Gallagher, at some point, there's um, one of the back aliens that comes down, and they have this tractor beam, and they suck you in. Oh, get sucked up! Get sucked up! Yay! Okay, now you gotta shoot that guy so you can get two ships. So I shoot him. Shoot. Hold on, in a sec. I showed her the trick where you get two ships, but just careful not to shoot your own. Oh yeah, you got it! Yeah? Yeah, check this out! Oh, so, cool. Look at that! And she pulled it off! No. Oh! You still got one ship. So ultimately I gave up on Gallagher because I wasn't really good at it and I felt like I would have needed a lot more practice to get onto the high school board, and that was the challenge today, so I moved on. Should I give it another go? I want you to at least qualify. You haven't qualified in pole position. All right, well, let's do it again then. With pole position, the first time I played it, I didn't even qualify. But I felt like I had some kind of a grasp of what the game really needed. Yeah. Good. Oh. oh no. Oh, you oh you qualified. Hey! <laughs> <gasps> and then I qualified, which was so exciting. Now what happens? Now you'll do the actual race. Oh that wasn't a race. No, that was just qualifying round. That's hilarious. And then slowly I got a little bit better at that one, but I was very worried about the lack of quarters and the lack of plays. Oh did you get the on the scoreboard? You got nineteen thousand. Let's see, hold on. What is the score you had to beat? Oh, you were like, look at that. Oh, you were like 200 away. All right, we can do this. Can oh, do this. you got two quarters left. So we get down to our last two quarters and she decides to play pole position. You qualify. Yes. Look at you, you're, you're just a regular qualifier now. And you got a better position. Cool. Okay, let's hit it. I had to get, I think it was above 18,000 or 19,000. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You are so close, you are so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I think you got it! Wait. Lo and behold! Yes! Is it me? My score got on the scoreboard. But I couldn't put my name in. It was um, a bit unfortunate, really. See, look, that okay, kind of, okay. Those you freaking beat that. You beat that. Yeah. I beat it. I beat pole position. Or I beat the challenge. <laughs> you did it. Yes! Oh, right at the end. You... Yeah! We're going to count that one for today. We're going to count that. Yeah, that counts. <laughs> And so ends another episode of Girlfriend Versus. Now, I had a very different arcade experience growing up. I went to arcades all the time. Did you go to arcades? Uh, not? not really. I think we just went to Brighton. I liked Brighton. You went to Brighton? Here. And did you have a favorite arcade game? Uh, I liked Dig Dug. Um, Stumptown Retro taught me how to play That's Dig right. Dug. That's right, in Portland, yeah. yeah. And I really liked that. So I would say that was my favorite arcade game. But what's your favorite arcade oh. game? I'd like to know that. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I personally, I love Burger Time. Burger Time is my jam. I love running away from anthropomorphic hot dogs <laughs> and fried eggs. Uh, but what, what I would like to know from you guys is where was your favorite arcade growing up? Did you play at 7-Eleven? Did you play at the mall? Did you play at Brighton? Uh, that's what I want to know. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Parade wave. <laughs>
Lion face, <sighs> lemon face. Lion face, <sighs> lemon face. I've never heard that. Yeah. Oh, I always just go, make your face as big as you possibly can. Dr. Seuss, Seuss two sleuths. Dr. Zeus. Dr. Seuss, Seuss two sleuths. Dr. Seuss, Seuss. Sleuths. Seuss two sleuths. Dr. Zeus. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Seuss two sleuths. Dr. Seuss. Seuss two sleuths. Seuss two sleuths. Dr. Seuss. Seuss two sleuths. I'm scared you're going to spit in my eye. <laughs> Go on. All right.